Hey everybody, um, this is just a real quick video to show you how I'm kind of taking the stripes off of this uh, 2013 Mustang. I uh, noticed that these vinyl stripes were starting to kind of crack and just get brittle. The car does sit out in the sun, so they're pretty baked on there. And I've tried the, the rubber wheel, I've tried um, the heat gun, I've tried all this these different um, ideas of trying to you know strip this stuff off and problem I'm having is that because it's so brittle and so uh, dried out the vinyl is that it's not coming off on some of the videos it shows that these uh, come off fairly easy but what I'm experiencing is because they're so uh, been baked into the car that it's just very difficult to uh, come off you can see how they're just all broken up you know I don't know if this uh, came factory with the car I did buy the car used so I don't know the history of these stripes if it was an aftermarket um, stripe kit or if it was something from Ford, I haven't researched that yet. But um, regardless, um, <laughs> it's quite the project. It is um, not an afternoon job, it's probably a weekend job, depending on uh, how motivated you are. But I did get the first part of the hood done. It did have a cow, which is sitting over here on the workbench. And I'm gonna show you how, how I've been doing this. Um, it's been coming off fairly fairly well. Again, it's very time consuming. One, one thing to consider, I do introduce some heat with either a heat gun or um, with a hairdryer. The hairdryer obviously does not produce as much heat. So I recommend on some of the areas that are plastic, not the, the metal parts of the car, that you use a hairdryer at a distance versus a heat gun. And here's uh, evidence of what happened. An example of me getting a little zealous uh, around some of the, the uh, plastic parts of the car it did burn through the paint. Again, I'm not too concerned uh, with a little touch-up later. Um, it's kind of a daily driver. It, it does show its uh, wear and tear, but for most, of the, most of the car does show very nice. So uh, I'll get some touch-up paint on that, but uh, I did take the cowl off. If you do have a cowl, then uh, there's four screws and some adhesive strips. So once you take the screws off, you'll have to run some. What I did was I run, ran some painter's tape along the edge of the cowl. And I got a putty knife under there and just started breaking it off very carefully and uh, protected the paint. I didn't get any damage. You see some scratches on the inside, but again, that's going to get covered up later on. I'm probably going to buff out this car too with a uh, buffing wheel once I'm done here. But for the most part, it's coming off pretty good. There is some ghosting. Um, might come up on the video, might not, but I can see it. There's some ghost, which I, again, I hope will buff out. But um, a heck of a lot better than it was. Let me show you that cow. You know what I'm doing over here with that. Um, you can see I'm about halfway done with one side, and again, it's it's very tedious. Uh, it is uh, it takes it takes a while, so you just got patience with it. But this is what I've been doing. I'm going to show you a little demonstration. I apologize if this uh, moves around a little bit. I'm not the a pro video videographer with this stuff, but so what I usually do here is is I start with a um, I've been using this, it's plastic, so it doesn't really, it doesn't harm the paint, it doesn't really scratch or anything. You can pick them up for about, I don't know, six, seven, eight bucks, maybe at the hardware store. I ordered this online, but it uh, comes with, comes with these here, like a box of replacement. They look like blades, but they're plastic. They're not really sharp to the touch. Uh, still got to be a little careful to get some sharp points on them, but it's not like a razor blade. It's going to cut you, but it works well with the paint. I've found so far it's not really scratching. Um, too much. There's some little like hairline scratches I can see again, but I think those are going to buff out fairly nice. So anyway, I'll show you a demonstration of just how I've been doing this. And again, it's very, very tedious. Again, hair dryer because this cowl is like a fiberglass. I don't know if it's plastic, but I think it's fiberglass. So I'm finding that it's working pretty well, but I just didn't want to introduce a um, heat gun to this. So here's uh, here's here we go. Kind of dried out, but I have been along my way here, just shooting a little bit of goo gone with it. Uh, I can see I went through most of this bottle just in the short little areas that I've done so far in the car, so I'll probably have to pick up another bottle to do the rest. But that's going to be for another day. So got some heat on it, and you can see I kind of just 
bend it out. Again, it's, it takes a while. I've made these stages, these little marks on it, that I uh, kind of helps me um, show my progress. Kind of keeps me focused on it, but you know, you get about a half an inch, three quarters of an inch at a time. It's going to start cooling off here a little bit, and then you have to reintroduce some more heat along the way. I just kind of scrape that off. Some of the folks out there are probably freaking out right now because I'm scratching this paint like that, but it's not really, like I said, scratching too much. And it's buffing out nicely, I, I found so. And again, I repeat the process. Move on. And I'm finding that these blades you have to replace. Depending, you have to, you'll get a feel for it, but they start getting a little soft after about, um, I don't know, six, eight, ten inches of this, depending on how you're working it. So you just flip it around, you got two blades on one, and you just, uh, you know, I've gone through maybe a couple blades so far on this, on this cow part of it today. So there's a box of 25 that comes in, and I think that's probably enough to do the car. If you don't think it is, you know, buy another box, got 50 of them, but. Anyway, that's it. Hope that uh, helps out. And uh, I hope it helps somebody because uh, this is what I figured out for me. All right, good luck, guys.